Hey guys, now we're taking a look at today the Hydro 3 cordless pool cleaner. And this is a robotic cleaner that's going to take care of your pool. Very similar to the robots that you've seen us review on the channel that have to do with the inside of your home. And you can see our pool in the background there. This is going to work for in-ground pools for sure. And if you have an above-ground pool, you know what, you can use something like this as well. Now, this is going to take care of automatically cleaning your walls, the floor, and also has a lateral water line movement that's going to take care of that area of your pool as well, which can be a pain in the butt, especially when you're uh, cleaning your pool and wanting to keep it clean. Now, because of the efficiency that you get from these kind of devices, it also saves your your actual pump because it doesn't have to take care of the debris that this guy is going to handle for you. Now, battery life, 200 minute battery power. That's pretty good. It has dual inlet and turbo pumps that enhance the cleaning power suction. So this doesn't have just a single motor that's kind of like doing this thing and sucking things up, but it actually has two of them. And that's also going to change the way and how efficient this is when it goes, uh, starts cleaning your pool. Now the, the, the tank itself, or let's call it the basket rather, the basket itself is 4.1 liter. That's a really big basket, which means that you're not going to have to change it as often as it's cleaning your pool. And you know, at the very beginning of the season, we get a lot of debris in the pool, and towards the end of the season, we get a lot of debris in the pool. And we find ourselves, because we have robots in our pool, that we actually don't have to go through and clean our filters that often. And we do have filters. Uh, we also then have, our pool is a saltwater pool, and we find that these type of devices make it such a delight to have a pool, because I literally don't have to clean it. That's important to me. Now it does have an active brush, which you'll see right here that actually uh, rotates. And you know, basically if you're thinking about how much can 200 minutes cover, well, you're going to be able to get a full pool cleaning of a hundred, check this out, a hundred square meter pool. That's pretty big, right? So one charge, you don't have to worry about it at all. Uh, the battery itself is 11,000 milliamp hour battery. And once again, what you're going to have is something that is just going to intelligently take care of every aspect of your pool without you having uh, to worry about, again, any kind of maintenance outside of just plugging this thing in and throwing it in the water. So let's take a look at, you know, just the different, I would say, um, aspects of the robot so you can see what's going on here. And one of the things I will say that's really cool also, and I love about these new robots, is that they feature an auto park feature so that... You don't have to go, it has a hook that you'll basically uh, put your pool pole on, you know, and then you'll be able to pull it out of the water, but you don't have to go fishing for this in the middle of your pool. This, when it's done, it's gonna go to the corner and you'll just be able to pick it up right there, really easy. So first of all, in the very front, you'll see that you have an on off switch here. You have, again, logo in the front. You have, this is kind of like a tank model. I like these models, or it has kind of like the treads on the sides. And then when, you, when we flip this over, what you'll see is here on the very bottom, we get this right here in the side, you can see kind of like what's going on from the suction. Remember, we talked about dual power. So this is literally gonna suck up everything that's on the bottom of your pool of leaves and things like that. Here you have these little, uh, brushes or, or they kind of help that as it's going forward, making sure that it can push more of that debris in the front. So this is nice soft silicone or rubberized material that's really not going to mess with the actual surface of your pool. You can see the rollers in the front, the rollers in the back. This is going to be great. And then the sides, which is going to help it easily climb the side of your pool. Now it does have in the back the plug. This is really important that you have this closed before you put it in the water, right? And this, um, again, has a couple little points right here that match up with these points right here. And then you're just able to just push that in and secure that nicely, right? So that's important. Now over here, this looks like a handle, but it's really not a handle. What this is, is the actual uh, removal debris uh, basket. I like, I wanna say that this is probably one of the easiest uh, baskets to remove and put back on that we reviewed hands down. Watch this. That was easy. And I didn't have an easy button for that. That's how you put it back in. So take it out, put it back in. Pretty simple. And the, again, the, the actual opening and closing, right? So you have this little tray right here that opens up. 
Isn't that easy? I tell you, super easy. So, and then if you want to even take it apart even further, let's say you want to just empty on the bottom. Look how thoughtful that is on the bottom. So you have two options. Open it up this way, right? Or you can open it up on the bottom and let everything fall out, right? And you close it off. And you notice that it has two separate, two separate areas uh, for cleaning, right? Or for debris. So it has a smaller area and then the larger area here, um, obviously to capture all the material. And once again, the fact that this goes in so easy, right? And we'll go ahead and put it in, is a snap. Now on the sides of the robot, you do see these cool jets. Uh, I actually like this because most robots have the jets at the very top, right? You see it? Here, it's almost like if it was a, uh, almost like a jet, right? You see a lot of cars have the actual exhaust on the sides. So I really like how they've designed that where you can see that on both sides, that's where is, everything is taking place. Really, really cool. And again, this is something that is really simple to use because how simple is this? You have a little flip switch that you flip, put it in the pool, and you're ready to go. All right, so we're going to go ahead and flip this guy to on. We're going to let it go through its cycle, and then we're going to go ahead and put it in the water. I'm going to place it right here in the side so we can see it in action. We'll let him go underneath. I have some debris, some leaves, and stuff like that that are still pretty much there. And we'll let this guy go ahead and do his thing. Now, we have fully charged him and should see him kick into start just in a second. And there he goes. And you can see already it started running. You saw how it turned immediately. Now, here he goes going up the steps. And he is doing his thing. Now the robot at first is going to try to figure itself out, make sure that it understands the pool, and then it's going to start cleaning in earnest. And right now you see, I would say it's almost like just figuring out its positioning before it kicks in to do significant uh, cleaning. You can see how it's going back and forth, just kind of positioning itself. And then once it's set to go, this guy just takes off and starts cleaning. All right, so we're starting to see the robot actually do its thing, right? So it's getting into normal cleaning mode, and you can see how it's taking care of the water line area right there. And you see how it's kind of like moving over? See that? That's what I was talking about, where it has that kind of cool feature. Uh, if you, Again, if you're a pool owner, you know how great it is to have that feature because you don't have to worry about any of the stuff that could be left on the actual water line itself. Now it's going to go down. And I'll tell you, the, the suction is no joke. As it's going in the water... Right before it even goes over the actual leaves or anything that's on the bottom, I'm seeing it suck it in. So typically with some of the robots I've seen, the the robot has to go over the item in order to suck it in. This one, as it's going in, because there's so much suction, it's actually pulling the debris that's in front of it inside of the robot before the robot even goes over it. And I think that's pretty cool. Now he's doing a good job of going up the stairs too, and that's something that some robots could have some difficulty with, but this pool cleaner is doing nicely when it comes to going up the steps too. Here's another view of that kind of lateral movement as it's doing the water line. And you can see that I need to add a little bit more water there, so you can see that water line right there. And now it's going to go down. All right, so we're going to see what we're talking about. So there it's going to come up. You'll notice that there's some debris right there in the water. And you'll notice how it's picking everything up nicely. All picked up. All right, so here you're going to see the robot's actually doing a little turn. And you can see how it's picking up some of the debris that's underneath. And it didn't even make it to that piece. It just sucked it right in, which is what I was mentioning. It just The suction is so strong that it kind of pulls things in right in front of it. Even on the sides, you can see it doing the same thing. And it's rotating. It has a lot of power because I've noticed this too. Notice how it lifts sometimes. There it goes back down. So it's almost like it's just taking off. It just takes off with a lot of power and it, I see it raise itself. You'll notice here, it's, I think it's going to attack that side of the wall next. There it goes. All right, guys, so it's 200 minutes later and we are going to be checking out how well did the 
actual robot too. Check it out. There's just one leaf there. And as I mentioned, once it's done, it comes back to the position, to the corner, that's the edge of the pool, and it not only goes to the corner, but what I love about this is it's standing up, which makes it really easy for the hook, the included hook, to hook right there so that I can pull it out and put it to charge again. That's pretty cool. You can see how great this pool looks after this robot did its cleaning cycle. Absolutely love it. Great job.